1960, Nigeria got her independence from Great Britain. 1960 to 1963, there were three regions, namely Northern, Western, and Eastern. Between 1963 and 1967, the country became four regions, namely Northern, Western, Midwestern, and Eastern. 1967, General Yakubu Gowon, the third head of state, created 12 states from the first three regions. 3rd February 1976, General Murtala Muhammad, the fourth head of state, created additional seven states and also Abuja as the federal capital territory. On the 23rd of September 1987, General Ibrahim Babangida, the eighth head of state, created two states, namely Akwaibom and Katsina. August 27, 1991, General Ibrahim Babangida created additional nine states. 1st October 1996, General Sani Abacha, the 10th head of state, created six more states, namely Bayelsa, Nasarawa, Zamfara, Gombe, Ekiti, and Ebony. The creation of a Boeing state didn't come on a silver platter, just like Nigeria's independence. As the agitation for independence reached its crescendo, the founding fathers of the nation began to attend constitutional conferences in Lagos and London. Minority groups expressed fears about domination by the three regions of the Federation. In September 1957, the Willink Commission was set up to address the fears of the minority. From 1967 to 1991, states were created by different heads of state. The agitations didn't abate. Political positions were shared according to regions. And when it comes to the eastern region, uh, brothers in uh, Anambra would take their own share and take our own share. The same with uh, ministerial appointments, ambassadorial appointments, even contracts, anything at all, name it. To say the least, uh, we marginalized. The push for a born state began in 1960. It will come up and we die. It will come up and it will die. And, uh, when a new state was created out of uh, old Anambra, the struggle became more intensive. Late Ofiawale was the senator representing Abakaliki Senatorial District at the National Assembly, Lagos, from 1979 to 1983. He submitted a paper in Lagos. The proposal for the creation of a Boeing state, which he submitted to the National Assembly in 1979, was a big boost. Fortunately, one of the founding fathers of this nation, Chief Awolo, who was then asking to be president of this country under the platform of UPN, quickly recognized the uncreated a Boeing state under the motion of a Senator Ofiwale and recognized Ofiwale immediately. That prompted Ofiwale at that time to leave MPN, which was the ruling party, to join UPN because his colleagues and friends in MPN were not supporting his motion. And there was a man who said, yes, this state is viable. Pa Awolowo recognized the uncreated Ebony state and treated that uncreated state as a state. We really have the money. We really have the money backs. But we had uh, sincere individuals, people with integrity. Sometimes we don't have hope. Sometimes we go to Abuja, we'll be lying on the ground on the floor. In the hotel, but we were one because of being one, we were strong. Elder Dr. Canadian was a patron. The Abakleke group came to Dr. Canadian and hinted him that uh, it would be good for the two groups to, to, to come together and fight for a, a state. At first, Dr. Biam di did not agree. He said he doesn't want Nigeria to be split into pieces. He felt that uh, united we stand, divided we fall. So he didn't want the Igbos to be split into states at all. Some of us, after they had gone and we heard this, we met Ibiam. Elder and Inkama, Nkama Ebu Nkama, Sami Nyaga, myself, Ukurezi, and Akanutu. We met him and uh, discussed with him that he should accept what uh, the Dabakliti group had come to say. After I was advising him, discussed with him, agreed with him, he agreed that uh, since uh, there are so many states in the north, that uh, he would ask him to give him his own state. He agreed. I used his hand. I wrote, Tabata, give him my own state. 
It is when we went to submit the letter that the man died in the hotel room. At that we hid it. We didn't want anybody to know. We put him in a vehicle and turned him. Where to situate the capital was seriously debated on. It was resolved that if a governor comes from a Bakilike group, the capital will be at Afikbo. But if it happens that the governor will come from Afikbo, the capital will be at Bakilike. That was the original agreement. But when Na died in 1995, they changed everything and they had the governor and had the, the capital in their own area. Some people say instead of uh, having Afipo or Abakleke, let it be at Onyeke because Onyeke was regarded as the middle of uh, Bonye. If you are coming from Kalago to Onyeke and you are coming from Ishago, you come at the same time. And if you saw the first drawing, it was Onyeke that was made the capital. But one night I was sleeping here, my phone rang. Around 9 o'clock, Brigadier Oladipo there then. Who was the two IC and who was my classmate? He phoned me, said, Felix, people have gotten state to, we're just finishing our meeting now. But the problem we have is where the capital is sited. We don't have money to build on it as a capital. He said, if people can take a Bakalike as a capital, your state is already gotten. He said, Sir, what do you do? What do you want us to do? Because between now and next tomorrow, submit a, another memo and change the capital from Moneke to Bakalike. Very early in the morning, I went and called the chairman of Abakaliki local government, just no good to them. We called other chairmen from this side, Keteke chairman. We went to Christopher Wankos, uh, Sakso Wankos house in Enugu. I told them what the brigadier there told me. We just dusted the former memo. I put Abakaliki at the capital and removed there, sir. Chief Chris Wanko, Agomeze, let uh, Dr. Okisu. We collected the money, gave them the winter resource, the, our memo. When the state was created, Abakaliki was made the capital. There were only seven local government areas at that time, and that posed a problem. The federal government said, you have to beef it up so that it will seem to that side world that you merit the state. They went to buy us and they couldn't beef up anything. They gave them, there were eight, eight local governments. Can it go? Because of the agitation. They gave me form to fill, to divide the Ezra into two. Ezra North, Ezra South. We gave form to the chairman of Abakaliki government. That formed what we call Abakaliki Ubodo Eboy. You see, he's already there. We gave form to Iko. Iko man refused to fill his own. He ran away with it. Because if your local government is created into two, you drop. You as a chairman will drop. The other will take a chairman. The other will take a chairman. But the chairman. Of the whole Aza, before Aza was divided into two, I dropped. I was in the National Assembly too. Ishelu was divided into two. We have a Uku and Ishelu. They divided the Hosra. We get Ivo and the Hosra. We get Onisha and we got Eda. Who would, who would have been 14 if we submitted his own? That's why we are 13. Other criteria like number of schools, hospitals, and hospital beds were also met. The Lexicome helped us. The name Ebony was adopted because of this river called Ebony River. Ebony is the name of a natural feature. It's a river that traverses the whole of the state from the north to the south. The 13 local government areas in the state are grouped into three zones, namely north, south, and central. Formerly we of uh, Ugoja province. Then just before the war, we had a Baklika province. Ebony South came largely from Abia. And what was really carved out from Abia State involved Eda, Afikbo, Ishiago, Ohozara, Akeze, Afikbo proper, Amasere. They came originally from Afikbo Division. Ebony North came largely from Enugu State. Ebony State has the slogan, Salt of the Nation. This is Uburu a town in Ohozara local government area. This is the Salt Lake. It is called Mai in local palace. Legend has it that the villages in Uburu that discovered the Salt Lake were Umochima, Ogu and Urobo. This occupation is the exclusive preserve of women. My name is Margaret Ekoma. Mahi is our occupation. We use our earnings from here to train our children in school. 
Governor Mahi and all the prominent people in this community were trained with the process from here. This is how the salt is processed. We construct these with sand. We put cocoa yam leaves and sand inside the pot. Ashes go in too. Women who are not menstruating at the moment go with clay pots to fetch the water and pour into the pots. After a while, we'll pour a little more, cover it and leave it for six hours. We will return and create a hole underneath. It will be dropping little by little. We will pour it into a drum. It gets heated up and we have our salt. Oposhi is also blessed with a salt lake. Theirs was discovered by a hunter known as Ekumachita. The nutritious salt is sold at different prices. Abundance of solid minerals has attracted many investors. Ebony State has a lot of mineral resources, over 25 different kinds of mineral resources. We have brine, and brine is found in Atuburu, of course. We are lucky to have Uburu, and uh, brine is major raw material in producing uh, table salt and all that kind of salts. Chlorine, hypochlorite, some of them are used in uh, water treatment. We also have granite. Granite is known all over the place with what we call chippings, used in uh, construction of uh, roads and bridges and uh, other concrete works. We have lead, abundance of lead in places like Enyba, Ohosra, Amere and so on. And zinc is one major revenue earner in the state. We have limestone, very large quantities. Limestone is the key mineral for cement production. Ebony State housed the first cement industry in Nigeria, the Niger Sem. And that was because limestone had been found in this part of the world as far back as in the 1940s. So this is the home of limestone in the entire eastern Nigeria. We have sand. We have kaolin, and uh, these are used for ceramics, of course, the tiles. We have marble stones. We have gypsum. Gypsum is one very important mineral used for cement production. Gypsum and limestone and some other minor additives equals cement. We have coal. Recent search shows that it is in abundant quantities in that few one um, edai. We have uh, phosphate, iron ore, pyrites, rough gold. We have crude oil. Well, search is still going on. We have contacted consultants to really find out what it is all about. The initial survey shows that there is crude oil in Ebony State. And we are going to harness it. Ebony has acres of arable land. We are number one in capital production in Nigeria. We are number two in rice production in Nigeria, to the rice production in Nigeria. And our rice is the sweetest rice all over the world. We produce the greatest quantity of yam in Nigeria. We are number three now in poultry production. The land generally is very fertile. We have tractors across the uh, local government that goes to the farm. Our uh, governor won the best governor in agriculture in the whole country for two years now, 2017 and 2018. And I got the best commissioner for agriculture in the whole federation. In 2016, we generated 11.8 billion from rice alone. We are rich. It's no more the time they call us the Wawa people. Look, we are looking for people that will emulate what we are doing. Palm oil production is a lucrative business here. This is Popery village in Amasari. This site is nature's gift to them. Edith Idamobase has done this for 33 years. <laughs>
ndi ni tulu ari aya so ai furu e ba wiye nuji nuji ma na wiye ebo ibe ai daga ba ni miye na aje miye ma mefute e ma no je si be kwenu na ko na bu zuru ma no ana eri eri iya ni eri ma no bo 8005 the business is in ma the complaint is water ai je fu gata ga mi ni o mo to aya e ka mai to roku e o ko ko se na afuta ga futa kaya hunu uru oba ari ai bo to mo na bi ai hugo mi na mu ga je na le ai ya ai soro mi ni ai wo de ha ni ma ewo aka ma wo ha go ha ko nya ha re they resume at 5 am and close late ya me fu teri ya ku de beri ai ani ai mi ni ani ai nje ni ihe bu pa ai at amangbala village in afibo this machine they call presser is operated manually just because we don't have electrical presser that is why so if anybody want to help us or want to assist us we will more over we will only tell the person to assist us with getting this uh, electrical presser after this they will still cook the oil before it goes to the market no dey now my siri o re ke use go use e one year you perfect and the man we siri e dey she dey na man egbo the shell of the kernel is removed and what is left which is called ake in local parlance is used for the production of palm kernel oil umuru ma o se na meje hun o re ke igbata esi de na igbata se won takere na yo se ma ku se yan bo ma won de ni mo ni ana agaba ga na gara i wore wore go nya no release e ye re ha go si kike un de na geje ga ro re 4 days 5 days i wore ke igbata se bo nya bo no release e wa no nya anse e se ra ke a e it's a bit do ni wore race in the mad oye na me se gbe oye na me tie oye na me iya za de gishi It can also be eaten in this form. my sister. Apart from farming, Ebonians are also well read. There are more than seven tertiary institutions in the state. Ebony State University was established 20 years ago. It is located in the state capital, Abakaliki. Akanui Biam Federal Polytechnic, located in Onwana, was established 38 years ago. Venerable Dr. Ogunnea Ibenwo is the fifth rector of the oldest federal polytechnic in the southeast. Our core strengths are in engineering, ceramics, technology. There are six schools, 29 departments and 47 programs. By program I mean ND and HND. Our products do well and uh, the environment is calm, is conducive, peaceful. In recent times the host community has been so a uh, peaceful and uh, there is every reason to be here for the academics and then um, our lecturers are really up to it there are many nursery primary and secondary schools in the state government secondary school afibo has produced achievers his excellency engineer dr david nweza umahe passed out in 1982 he is a good ambassador of his alma mater david umahe has now shown the people what good governance can generate has told us that with good governance the state can be transformed just like the state has been transformed na pro nwa chineke nyina nyimbu nje na dev odike se meyere anyi eba nje erindi na sa anyi were erigendi sa chineke goji na ha jesus amen abon state was created during the military era with general sani abacha as the head of state navy commander walter fegabo became her administrator for two years Simeon Oduoye took over in 1998 and was the administrator for 9 months. He was an assistant inspector general of police. On the 29th of May 1999, Dr. Sam Ewu assumed office as the first elected governor of the state. After 8 years, he handed over to Martin Elechi, one of the founding fathers of the state. After 8 years, David Mweza Umahe, a civil engineer, contested in the elections and won. He is the third governor of Ebony State. God has been very kind to the state. The first person, Walter Fairbo, a young man, was a workaholic. 12 o'clock in the midnight is inspecting projects and that's what the present governor is doing. We are very very fortunate to have as it were the heir to Dr. Kanebia 
who actually is implementing all the things that my father had in mind, which he couldn't do. Bravo and kudos to His Excellency Chief Dev Mweze Omahe for the kind of roads that he's doing there, that he's putting down, laying down all over Ebony State. You can see the Amuro Market Road and the street lighting that is accompanying it. You can imagine what it will look like when completed. It will completely transform the environment. And that's not the only road. There are other ones coming up. It's a welcome development. It's amazing. Because uh, we've never had it like this. Chief Dave Mai has done noble. He has empowered women, youth. He has done a lot. He has done more than he promised during his campaign period. We feel in his second tenure, Africa will be second to the state capital. He has made road construction a priority that in all the communities within a bond state, you will see a specimen road being done by him. We have street light and uh, he was able to repair Dr. Canavian's building. He is promising us he will do more. So we, we wish him to go again. Apocalypse in the night is like a heaven. It's like you are sitting down in New York. It never used to be like that. We used to be a very dirty, sleepy town. Engineer Omahi has shown that he's a civil engineer and has brought his experience as a civil engineer to bear in the state. So I join others to thank him. If there's continuity on the steps he has taken, we are going to be probably the best state in the next 10 years. The story of Nigeria is incomplete without a good mention of a born state. Ezogo Dr. Francis Akanibiam, a native of Umwana, was the first governor of the eastern region. His daughter, Princess Aluibiam, has been the regent of Umwana community for 20 years. Onyeba Ajonwachuku, who hailed from Oposhi, was the first minister of education from 1958 to 1965. His son, late Dr. Igwe Ajawachuku, also became the Minister of Education between June 2007 and December 2008. Mrs. Beatrice Ajawachuku was the Commissioner for Education in the old Abia State. Dr. Obonea Ono, a native of Uburu, was the first elected Governor of old Abia State. Currently, he is the Minister of Science and Technology. Senator Anim Pius Anim from Ishago became the youngest president of the Nigerian Senate in August 2000 at the age of 39. Between May 2011 and May 2015, he was the secretary to the government of the federation. In 2016, Professor Amario Maka became Ebony's first senior advocate of Nigeria. He is from Amasari. I think it's just about being yourself and trusting God. I didn't achieve what I have achieved today because I'm hard, I work harder than others. I try my best. 
uh, whatever I focus, I concentrate. I don't dissipate energy in so many things. I was uh, engrossed in so much research that in, in any area of law where you don't find human beings, I want to know what to do then to improve that law. Celebrities of a Moin State origin are Sinach, Pato Rankin, Techno, Grace Ama, Chacha AK, just to mention a few. There are 82 recognized traditional rulers in the state. The 13 local government areas are different culturally and linguistically. The dialect of my brothers from uh, the other side is a bit difficult for me. And they themselves also feel the same about me. So in, a sh in short, I, you see, communication is a problem. Apart from the salt lakes in Uburu and Okwasi, there are other tourist sites in the state. Amancho Cave in Etiti community, Afibo South, Ndibe Beach in Afibo, and Umwana Beach. Ibiabo, Obodo Agozi or Agozi, since 1888. Odega Hiazo Gibia, Zahori, Ndozo, Nesibia, Neje Cross River, Nde Polytechnics, Nohabia here, for picnics. And a Pokoneja, Obutode Mino Kazuahu. Many non Indigens have lived here for long. Many go to church. Some are traditionalists, and there is also a Muslim community. Ebony women are second to none. Eboyans, I know how they behave, especially their girls. They are not that type. No, they are not. Eboy women, they are very submissive. They are not the type that will say, who are you? Somebody like Zeke. Just coming to see this girl perform in a wonderful way. That was how Zeke got married to the wife. So if you want to get married, please get married to a boy man. At times they can be not you, but mostly if you know how to handle them, they will be wonderful to you. Here are some Ebony foods and snacks. In the evening, people unwind. At night, towns and villages are well lit. Initially, we never knew that uh, we would get up to this level, that uh, the state government will remember us. Our parents now can even walk around with that hurricane lamp as usual. Nobody cares for touch again. We don't even know whether, are giving, whether they are still giving light or not. This time around, we see light every night. We walk around, we feel freely, going to anywhere we want to go. So we are excited. Our people are very happy. We are very, very happy with the governor. David. Mweze Omae, in his campaign promises in 2015, he promised Amasa that when I enter, I will give you people a chairman for the first time since the creation of Nafi Bono local government. And he has done it. He also promised Amasa that I will construct roads leading from Amasa to Uburu and also from Amasa to Uru, Eda, which he has done. He also promised the street lights, which today Amasa is like a Dubai and America in Africa. A drive around the state speaks of a governor who is working. Too many, one good term deserves another. It makes sense for us to show our gratitude to His Excellency and make sure that he comes back, he really deserves it. And besides, he needs that time to do the rest of the work that's waiting for him. There's still a lot of capacity building to be done. There's still so much to be done in terms of schools. We are going to vote this man in. We are looking forward to Dave Umaye finishing his uh, second tenure and handing over to somebody else who will imitate him. And I won't be surprised one day you'll be a president of Nigeria if he continues this way. Yeah.